I am Sojourner Truth, born Isabella, a slave in Ulster County, New York. My earliest memories are of my mother's voice, teaching us about God in the dark cellar where we slept. My children, there is a God who hears and sees you. He knows your struggles and your pain. Trust in him, for he will guide you through the darkest nights. We'd look up at the stars through the cracks, imagining our sold siblings seeing the same sky. My father, tall and strong, was called Bomefree. My mother, Mau Mau Bet. They loved us fiercely, even as the shadow of slavery loomed over our lives. But then came the day of the auction, the day that changed everything. I was just nine years old when I was put on the auction block. The sound of the hammer falling, it echoes in my mind even now. In that moment, I was no longer a child with a family. I was property, sold for a hundred dollars. As I was led away, I heard my mother's cries fading behind me. That day, I learned the true cruelty of slavery. But I also learned to hold on to hope. My mother's words stayed with me. When you are beaten or cruelly treated, you must ask help of God. And so I did. Through every hardship, every injustice, I held on to my faith. It was the beginning of my journey, from slave to free woman. From Isabella to Sojourner Truth. In 1826, I walked away from slavery with my daughter Sophia, determined to find freedom. A journey that would lead me to speak out against slavery and for the rights of all people. For though they could enslave my body, they could never chain my spirit. And that spirit, nurtured by my parents' love and my mother's teachings, would carry me forward to a life of freedom, of purpose, and of truth. This is my story, the story of Sojourner Truth, who knew one day there would be a library at the State University of New York at New Paltz, named in my honor.